We'll see how long I can play this before I start getting all fidgety because I'm sure many, if any of you are watching this, you probably don't care. But for the few who probably are going to watch this, they probably already know this because they've experienced this firsthand. But I struggle with something called bipolar disorder, which is a mental disorder. And it hasn't had an effect on me for since 2015, so going on four years. So, anyway, if I start fidgeting or saying things that are nonsensical, uh, definitely probably not going to be reading the comments. <laughs> Alright, so before, let's see what I got in my box here. What is this? It's a compass artifact? When do I get to equip artifacts? Like, why can't I just put that right there? A rare artifact. It has been several years since one was found. This artifact can locate gaps in field anomalies. Oh, it's pl it does plus four in radiation though, so I can't carry it. Scientists wish to study these in order to help them identify what creatures the Tishkuno originated from. So let's go, what's this? A flesh eye, swan eye. You can play a part in the scientific development by selling flesh eyes to scientists for their experiment. Snork feet and legs contain a huge number of highly elasticid tendons and explains the beast's ability to make those unbelievably long jumps. Scientists still look for useful possibilities to use them and they would be thankful for your help. All right, well, let's give these to some scientists. So I'm gonna go out this door. Boy, it's dark, maybe not. Okay, I'm gonna go find a place to sleep because it's so freaking dark outside Start off. and he got mad so I can't sleep there maybe I could sleep here you cannot sleep you're suffering from radiation exposure use drugs or contact a medic radiation exposure from what there we go let's just drink some vodka minus five to radiation There we go. Good, good old vodka puts anybody to sleep, even the strongest of survivors. So yeah, if we sleep six hours, it should be daylight, so we'll sleep. All right, welcome back. Now I'm hungry. What do we have to eat? We've got sausages, mmm, and bread. That sounds like a wonderful breakfast. And I just slept with this in my backpack. I feel gross. But we're gonna go visit some scientists. But let's get a little tipsy first, because that's the best way to make friends, at least in all other video games. It seems that getting drunk in a video game increases your charisma. And I think Dungeons and Dragons are the ones to thank for that. So we need to figure out where we're going first. Contact the scientist for about meat chunk and cobalt artifacts. Uh, let's head this way. Turn flashlight off because we don't need it. Make sure this is all reloaded. Sorry if there was a glitch right there. It's usually just the game loading the map, but everything is okay. Sean, I could probably edit it anyway. Because she's a sweetheart like that. I'm so confused. I thought I had the ability to dash. Sweet, I'll 
take all. I'm super close to where... Man, these guys were like right outside the camp. Gelb Elephant. What a name. That must have been a nickname. At least I sure hope. Because if his parents... If that's their parents' last names, I feel so bad. Well, looks like we're going to go sell some stuff. Oh yeah, that's right, you can't sell stuff here. That sucks. There's an anomaly somewhere around here. Here's this place filled with all these people and no one to sell guns to. Does that make sense? No. No, it does not. See you next time. Oh, can I trade with you? No. That's right, they won't buy guns unless they're fixed. I'm going to have a giant chest full of garbage. They're not going to want these because these are so badly busted. Alright, I'm gonna put in here, I'm gonna put in here the guns I want to keep, so like, this, and this, and I want to keep this, and this, and then I'm gonna be selling this, no. This thing does, this isn't an Israeli gun, I gotta keep that, I want the Lord on my side. Look at this amount of damage that gun does, versus the IMI Galil arm, a family of Israeli battle rifles produced by the Israeli military industry. Dang! Sounds like we're having this brewing a storm out there, boys. Alright, let's go sell this stuff. Let's trade. What? You don't want any of this stuff? None of it? Fine! this nice character does not have enough money what you have no money oh Get out of here. You've got no money either? Who's got money? You all look like a bunch of losers from 28 days later. Well, I'll be switched. These are definitely the proper way to relieve oneself. Except there's no chain to flush. That's very unfortunate. Please tell me that I can sell to you. 
I need medical assistance. Let's look. Well, your liver is bigger than I expected, but that's an occupational hazard, right? Ah, <laughs> you're so funny. Apart from that, you're as healthy as a burr. All right, well, let's trade. You've got no money, too? You're a doctor! A doctor, I say! What's that up? I don't think I want to be out here, guys. At least not yet. I hear a storm's brewing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's just me, Loki. Alright. How much money you got? Nothing. You got... What is this? That does a lot of damage. Do you got ammo for that? You have a sniper rifle. Oh my goodness. Tell me about the freedom. It's a long story. What do you want to know? What is it that you do here? We're making sure that various officials don't conceal anything from the common folk. You know how that is. As soon as they find a new lab or some documents that shed light on the secrets of the zone, they immediately organize a military operation and clean everything up better than a friggin hoover the only way of finding crap out is by getting there first well how did you end up in, in freedom well I was friends with the freedom leaders back when there was no zone mind you and in those days they weren't leaders they were regular hippies so when I made a move into the zone in search of artifacts and ran into familiar faces, I figured I might as well go with what I know. What is it that you do here? We're making sure that various officials don't conceal... Okay, we get that. What brought you to the center of the zone? The boys felt like taking a stroll in the new place. Just kidding. It's an opportunity to find stuff that the world ain't seen before. Neither the army nor stalkers have been here before, so there's something new everywhere you look. Did you find anything? A couple of locked doors, some weird new artifacts. So, what do you think about the duty then? They're idiots. That's what I think. I mean, why the heck would they want to destroy the zone? It's not consuming precious resources, or getting bigger, or anything. They can just sit there and study it to their heart's content. Just think of how many scientific discoveries could be made. I mean, in history of the mankind, no one has ever been able to understand anti-gravitation, right? And in the zone, you've got ready-made anti-gravitation devices lying all over the place. It wouldn't hurt to kick their butts out of here, but it's too much of a hassle. By the way, don't be confused by our relationship with Yanov. We are at war. It's just that Yanov has made some neutral territory, if you know what I mean. Has been made neutral territory, if you know what I mean. Alright, well, I'll tell you what. You've got a gun that I am really really interested in and it's this oh you got several guns I'm really really interested in ooh I want these bullets six seven point sixty two times fifty one m nine 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 threes I need Except that everything I have, you don't want. Of course, that's how it always goes. All right, you know what? See ya. I'm done dealing business with you. I obviously don't have anything you want. You obviously don't have anything I want. I'll take your two grenades, your bandage, your loaf of bread for this gun. Some bullets and another gun, and I'll take bullets back and the gun, and I'll give you bullets, and I'll give you some more bullets, and I'll take some bullets. 
bullets back. I give you those bullets. There we are. Bye. There we go. By that. By that. This guy's gotta have more money. He's a freaking doctor. Nothing that he wants. Alright, Doc. I mean, sorry. Здравствуй, Stalker. Say you that. And so. Ну, удачи тебе. Nobody wants these guns. What's up, you gonna put let's be on those bandits soon. Hello, I'm trying to talk to you. Listen, I've been thinking. It turns out that those materials I need are simply collecting dust at the cement factory. Just thought of that it drives me crazy. Who's the Sleeping Beauty? Sinka? Back when I was making my way through Zatan, he stuck me he stuck with me and he's been with me since. He's a professional drunk with extensive experience, huh? I just use him to run errands here and there. If you need any tools, I can get them. That would be awesome. At the moment, it's like working at the Stone Age. The only difference is that the soldering iron has been replaced with a shaman's staff. If I had tools, if I had tools, I could do some upgrading. You, you better believe there's coin in it for you. Okay, I'll look. Yeah, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Now that that's repaired, bring Nitro some tools. This is what? you want to buy now, huh? Uh-huh. Take that and that. Sell. Boom, chikalala. How's it feel now, huh? Wish you had that gun earlier, but you know, huh? Trade. Oh yeah. Oh, you're one of the nice people because you bought that used gun. My bad. Well, I just made you buy another one. I like you uh, since you do good business with me and your name is Sergeant Gritza... Gritza... Gritza Inko. Wow. What a customer. Gritza Inko. Yeah, now you want to buy my guns. Y 
Yeah! It's gun buying time. That was really successful. I figured out. Oh, hello. I've got all the crap you're ever going to need. You fancy some chow, a drink, or feel like firing off a few rounds? What do you got? Nice doing business with you. See you next time. Radioactive fallout begins. I'm hungry from all that running around. Eat, drink, and be merry. Oh my goodness, I can now wear one of these because I have this suit. And this does plus three to thermal protection, plus three to chemical, plus three to side, plus three, but plus four to radiation. And this thing, radiation protection is four. But why is it hurting me? Because, well, I guess I still can't use it. is good. Anyway, even though I don't feel like I've accomplished much, I feel like I actually did kind of accomplish a lot because I found a place that buys guns, a place that repairs guns. And can I go outside yet? Radioactive fallout station. I don't know who, which one of you is giving me messages saying watch out for radioactive shelter. But I appreciate it. Can I turn this on? No, that's unfortunate. Ka -ka. I'll tell you why I'm excited. Because I can now finally hold an artifact in here. Problem? I think it's this that allowed me to hold an artifact. The problem, the artifact that I have, I can't hold without taking on poison. And I'm at 30 seconds. I should put this gun back until I get more bullets for it. But I know what I'm doing. I'm going to go... Okay, so... Let's put that there. 
I'll take one more grenade and leave that behind. So I know what we're doing. We're going to take that and that and that to the alien place. Just kidding. We're going to take these three things here to the scientist area. What is, what is this again? Oh, that's my PDA. No, that's Noah's PDA. Probably say before I throw a grenade. I survived. Survived a boring cells marketing thing. So yes, yeah, so my plan is, on my next episode, I'm just going to tell myself this so I don't forget, to take this piece of crap, because it looks like it, this piece of turd, because it looks like it, what? and this head to the scientist. But I'm so excited that I've got two slots now to put artifacts. Now if I can just find some artifacts. And also, how in the world... Even one artifact would be so nice. science place. Let's check my map. Yeah. Why not? Let's go talk to him. What sees me? I don't like it that something sees me and yet I don't see them. Oh, just those guys. your face. What equipment modifications can you perform? 
As you can see, this is a scientific complex. There's no Kevlar or weapons for part spare parts here, but I can do patches of body armor or modify it using my own personal development. As you can imagine, I've got plenty of top notch equipment to spare. Tell me about your bunker. Well, what do you want to know? What does the laboratory do? I doubt even Herman and Obstacles can answer that question. Obviously, they do all sorts of research, but the end result is measly at best. Then again, you could have chat with Oz. 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 Ozer Sky. Ozer Sky. Ozger. Oski. Ozgi. I don't know. I don't speak Russian. I was able to come up with the, a couple of decent suit modifications based on their theories. That's all I want to know. See you next time. My God. Who do I sell to? I thought one of you guys would buy this this animal garbage. Zero. I really want to go to Pripyat. I have some animal body parts and I really really want to sell them. Excuse me. You're in my way. I don't know what I just grabbed, but I'm glad I grabbed it. Can you see this? I just put a ton of gross expenditures around you guys because you guys said that you scientists could use this and you aren't talking to me. Help with something? Do you need any artifacts found? What are mercenaries doing? What are you doing here? Are you interested in something specific? What is the purpose of your research? What do you know about the zone? You know what? I'll talk to you guys in my next episode because it's already going on an hour and you guys are already boring me to death. So, that's all I wanted to know. I'll see you next time. Let's save the game. Playing Stalker again. 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 Dragon. Save. And thanks for watching, guys.